Hi, so I would like to talk to you guys today about a really bad word. Just kidding. Viruses. Yeah, we should talk about it because you know what? We've all been taught about viruses since we were really little, right? It's been kind of this game of telephone. Maybe you go to school, you learn that viruses aren't alive, okay? Well, guess what? That is true. But I also want to destroy what you think you know about viruses that is not true and how they've kind of hidden the truth in the rest of the lies. So the first things that I'm going to talk about are viruses being not alive. And that's true. Why? What is a virus? Well, a virus, and this is scientifically proven, a virus is actually just dead cell matter. So it still has DNA or RNA really, and um, it's not alive, it's dead. That's where they hid the truth, okay? Now, the thing is, is that everything has dead cell matter because cells of us, cells of all the trillions of microorganisms that live inside of us, they're dying all of the time. And we have microbes and bacteria in our bodies and other things that are living in our bodies also have microbes and bacteria that help to eliminate this dead cell matter, AKA a virus, okay? Now, it is not the dead cell matter, AKA virus, RNA, genome sequences of cells, okay, that causes disease. It's also not contagious. It's only contagious if you actually put the dead cell matter uh, inside from one thing to another. Now, that's very easy to do. It doesn't mean that that is causing the disease. What causes the disease in this regard is toxicity. It's when the cell death is happening at such a rate most likely because of poisoning, but there's other issues. We'll talk about that in another video. And in our world today, we've destroyed a lot of the microbes and the bacteria because antibiotics mean anti-life. They do not discriminate. So if you don't have what you need in your body and you're very toxic as it is, maybe you are very heavy metal ridden, you use a lot of chemicals, you know, you don't eat well, you don't drink a lot of good water, all sorts of reasons, then your body is going to be very toxic ridden. And it is the release of those toxins during cell death that actually makes you feel sick. And then your body ramps up things. It ramps up edema, so fluids, your, you get a fever because all of these cells are being produced. The mechanisms in your body are all of a sudden saying, ooh, we got to produce more white blood cells because we really need to get all this stuff out so that, you know, the body doesn't die or get sicker um, or any of the organism inside your body. We need that stuff, okay? So what's actually happening is that your body is trying to clear out this dead cell matter, this virus. Now what I want to do is I don't want to overwhelm you. So in another video, let's talk about why the viruses could be considered contagious or how maybe a PCR test works and why when you test for a virus, virus, it might be in, in many things or people. I want you to think about how a banana has many of the same DNA structures as a human, okay? I want you to also think about the fact that a fly has been shown to have the most similar chromosomes as a human. So it's just something to think about and we'll talk about that in other videos. But I wanna bust this myth of the fact that what viruses really are. One, they are dead cell matter, so that was the truth. But are they contagious and do they cause disease? No. Now we can also talk in a third video about the possibility of them creating something that could be causing, you know, sickness. That's 
we'll run off on a, a conspiracy tangent. Let's just be thoughtful in that regard because eventually and essentially we just don't really know, right? But we'll talk about that. So for today, a virus is nothing more than dead cell matter. It is not contagious. What causes you to be sick in this regard is typically poisoning and the fact that you do not have the microbes and what you need to clean up the toxicity and the cell death and that can make you feel sick, your body wants to rest, you get a fever, you should not suppress it and you should be providing your body with all of the things that it needs, gut health wise, microbes, good water, um, lots of good protein, bone broth, you need lots of protein, animal protein. Bone broth is going to be the number one thing and eggs when you're not feeling well because those amino acids break down and you want to be able to provide your body with the ability to rebuild and to get rid of that cell that is dying and the dead cell matter. Okay. So I hope this helps. And if you really like this video and it was eye opening to you, please do share it and definitely join my Facebook group. You can subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on social media. I will have all the links in the video um, uh, bio, excuse me, and, and uh, we'll do some other videos going on. Okay, have a good day.